So it's been like seven weeks since I recorded a video, since I made something like this. And uh, I can explain. Um, because things were going really, really well. And, and I even created content. I made videos about being consistent and about how being consistent was the key to making progress and all this other stuff. Um, but the simplest way that I know to put it is life happened. Long story short, uh, we have processed a lot as a family in the past few weeks. Uh, we have dealt with loss. We have dealt with funerals and we've dealt with just like life in general. And I, I think you know what I mean by that. Um, but a few weeks ago, my, my wife's grandmother passed away. And um, prior to that, she had been in the hospital and we had been, you know, traveling back and forth, trying to trying to be there and to see her and to, to be with the family and all these other things. And it's just kind of been a whirlwind. And it's been harder than I'd like to let on in a lot of ways. And sometimes I think just getting back in front of a camera like this, even if it's something that you do pretty consistently, um, it is more of a challenge in seasons like that. Some of us are really awesome at being vulnerable and, and figuring, figuring these things out, but I'm not one of those people. Uh, if you know me personally outside of this uh, this sphere, you know that uh, I don't always do well at showing feelings and, and things like that. Um, trying to process the world in that way has not always been a simple thing for me. But that being said, I, I've been trying to be really intentional about trying to take steps forward to take care of us, to take care of my family, take care of me. Uh, so I just want this video to be like a step toward the direction that I'm trying to go, right? Like I, I want this to be a step in the direction uh, getting back into the rhythm of things. Um, and back on September 11th, uh, a friend of mine, his name is Dusty Breeding, uh, shout out to you, Dusty, uh, posted about September 11th and about the events that happened um, in New York City and at other places. And he said, hold on, I want to read this quote because I don't want to butcher it. Um, and it's, it's just too good, but it's been something that has honestly been sticking in my brain uh, for the past like several weeks. And I have come back to it over and over and over again. And I have talked about it and I have used, um, I have used this exact quote with my wife and with my, the students that I work with on a regular basis as uh, a space for conversation. And he said on September 11th, I know of no other response to death than to live intentionally and love deeply. And after my wife's grandmother passed away, that was the refrain that came up in my mind, live intentionally, love deeply. I know of no other response to death than to live intentionally and love deeply. And you know this feeling, like when someone dies, you honestly want to spend more time with the people that you love because you wanna take advantage of the time that you have. But you also want to honor that person by living intentionally, by doing the things that they were passionate about, doing the things that put a smile on their face. And that's what we have tried to do as a family over the past few weeks. And, and that's what uh, my wife has tried to do as she has gone through her own grieving process and we've done the same thing. But I think that reality is true no matter what, whether it's a physical death or not. I think what happens is we deal with little deaths all the time. Deaths can be disappointments. They can be uh, moments that you thought something was going to go a certain way, but then it didn't. Uh, where you thought you were going to get a promotion and, and then it didn't come through. Where you had an expectation and honestly, life just didn't live up to it. But I know of no other response to death than to live intentionally and love deeply. So even in all of those small deaths and those little things, you can still choose to live intentionally and love deeply. You can take an opportunity today to reach out to someone that you love. Call your mom, call your grandma. You can take time today to think about someone and to reach out to someone that you care about who you know is struggling as well. You also can be intentional about the things that you're passionate about. Maybe you've always wanted to do something and you've needed that little bit of inspiration to say, I'm actually going to do it. Or maybe today's that day for you. Maybe today's going to be the day that you choose to live 
intentionally. So I know this is a, probably a bit of a shorter video. It, it's just a little bit of a thought that I've been having. And honestly, I have tried to create this exact video like 50 times. I have walked and set up the camera in this exact place. I've done the little walk-in that I did and and nev it never fails. One of my coworkers will drive up because actually what's behind this camera is my car uh, and the parking lot of the church that I work at. And it never fails. Somebody will walk in the door that's right over there. I mean, something will happen and it'll get in the way. And you try to be intentional. You try to like actually take a step and then stuff gets in the way. And sometimes that's just life. But maybe today is the day that you decide to take just a small step. That you respond to the little deaths that you deal with every single day as an opportunity to live intentionally and love deeply. So thank you, Dusty, for that little bit of inspiration for me. And I'm praying that for whoever's watching this, that it's a little bit of an inspiration for you. So hey, wherever you are, I hope you know that you're loved. I hope you know that uh, you have been called to do amazing things. And I hope you know that uh, God has created you uh, to reflect his image to the world and to be yourself. Because everybody else is taken anyway. So why try to be something that you're not? Hey, I love you guys. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Grace and peace, my friends.